Hello everyone, it's your favorite sword of warning with your daily warning. Flights of the Legacy, trigger and content warning. This episode may contain adult themes and not intended for anyone under the age of 18. Themes may contain sex, PTSD, traumas, racial injustice, etc. Viewer discretion is advised. And remember, I warned you! Now we're up. Also, Dave, I just realized that's the old outfit that, that's in the trailer. <laughs> what old outfit? <laughs> the the one that Cole is wearing. That that one's orange. It, 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 what do you mean orange? It, it's, 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 or, it's kind of orange. It, but you're a statue. That's, it can't be orange. No, 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 no. The, the one that's walking across the screen. Oh, whoops. <laughs> whoops. Wrong model. Whoops. <laughs> Uh, I'm gonna, well, I'll, I'm, I'll, I'm, I have a new outfit in there. <laughs> well, well I, I, I'm actually going to change those. I'm actually going to change those to the pixels. Yeah? Yeah, I'm going to change okay. those to the pixels. Yeah. yeah. Nice, nice, nice. I have hidden the pixel one of Helix away very snowy where I'll never be able to find it I again. Just if realized, I actually where about is it. the sound? So I will be, I will be, I will be swapping. So I have to update it anyway, so. But yeah, thanks for letting me know. I was like, eh, did you just yeah, I just, I just noticed change? it. <laughs> I just noticed change. it. Just a little one. Just a tiny little alpha change. I just noticed it. That's it. All right. Okay. Well, hello, everyone, and welcome to stream. Yeah. Hello, everyone, and welcome, welcome to, to the VOD. Also, I hope everyone likes the stat, the stat, like, slideshow. So, because I remember uh, people on YouTube were wondering, like, what, what everyone's race and class is. So, like... Instead of just me typing away, explaining it in chat, I put it up there. The only person that's not there is Helix, because we have not met them yet. We haven't met them officially. <laughs> we were supposed to last episode, but I kind of got really into everything. So apologies, yes, everyone. DB did that, and well, not me who well, started no, a fight. No, it was it's so. Okay. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Shall yeah, I go off the checklist of what happened last time? Yes, sure. Please, please do. Go for it. Oh, All right. Uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. I need to do the, the correct voice. Yes, please do. Yes. <laughs> All right. So the quick checklist was make sure that the legacy is captainless. Check. You have party freak out as the ship is about to crash. Check. Have the party somehow save the ship from crashing and be totally damaged for the next weeks rather than a couple days. Did you check. say two days last time? Hmm? You said two days last Wait, day? Weeks? It would have been weeks if y'all didn't pass it. Oh, okay. That would have been actual hull damage. Damn. We could have <laughs> stayed here longer and, but and done shopping? Damn. Meet innocent NPC. They check. Not Mug! Mug innocent NPC. NPC. <laughs> Have a PC lead lead party to the location where they're supposed to be. Well, Unchecked because a kobold decided to antagonize. Eh, they were stealing from the dead. Wait, wait, hold on, hold on. Technically, technically, all 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 the Koa did for was be Desi's not necessary wingman. I'm your wingman. <laughs> I took the <gasps> wingman I never asked for. Or yes, I am Desi's wingman now, and Arden's childhood best friend. What are where? What Arden? There's no Arden here. 
Arden. The one who disappeared. Oh, I don't know that. Hold up. I don't know Arden disappeared. Yes, you do. I didn't see. No, no, I didn't see. I was throwing up on the hall. Oh, no, we would have. Library called. saw, him, we would, saw yeah, it, though. Yeah, library. library was Sorry. still in the basement, still. No, no, library, library didn't go to the basement until after he fizzled away. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, I started following people. All right. Yeah, yeah library started following. So I had no clue. <laughs> I was barfing my guts out and swallowing it. He Party from a God Hunter. Party named it. An NPC which the DM wasn't intending to name at any time soon. And <laughs> you have all been led to New Tethmos. Yes. Which is the new map that's up designed by both Binary, myself, and Koa. Yes! By both? Or by, I mean the by, map. by, by all? By, by the members group? <laughs> both of the two people. Technically, Binary and I were the ones who did the uh, beak, feather, and bone. Highly recommend for DMs who want oh, to make maps. Yes, 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 yes. Yeah, and then Koa helped me with the nice and designing is what my, you see. Graphic design is my specialty. <laughs> All right, now now that we have map, uh, let's uh, with no map legend, but that's okay. It's coming Shush, soon. Shut up. <laughs> map legend just coming on the, soon. Just on the bottom left is where y'all are. Let me make sure I have my stuff open here real quick. I'm just for oh, right. I one to, oh, oh, I also need to open up uh, my character sheet. Everyone open up the map and character oh, sheet. No, I, I forgot my character sheet. I forgot the character sheet on there. Koa <laughs> breaks the fourth wall. Character sheets, guys! So, so uh, apologies if I don't speak too much in character because uh, I have cold. That means Go is in charge. No, it does not. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> You're not here yet. Yeah, yeah. No, no. Yes. You cannot speak. <laughs> or <laughs> Helix. You don't exist just yet. For now. <laughs> for now, for now. No, Helix exists. We they're haven't gotten to you Not yet. in the party. Yeah. <laughs> they, they're, they're in a tree somewhere. Oh. Tied up. Apparently so. So, can the DM get to describing stuff now? Yes! Yeah. Alright. I'm All right. well. <laughs> <laughs> Don't make me throw my wild magic surge on your head. Anyway. <clears throat> <laughs> on the way to New Tethmos, since it was still pretty much a day's travel, the closer you got, the more of the reforce you saw. Surprisingly, they're not all from the ones that you keep on seeing as you pass by them at first, like every... It was every 100 feet or so at first, and then it became around every 50 feet. It just denser and denser until you got close to the city where it looked like looks like there were pits. Sort of like the uh, Terracotta Warriors. Oh. Pretty much on the pathway up. Creepy. As you come through, you have mountain to the left, mountain to the right, but oh. even above the mountains... Horizon line, you know, you come to seeing the white alabaster walls that lead into a large gatehouse. A small path of gravel leads off to the left into the mountain range. At the front, you see what I can only say is two reforged, one Leonin, one human, both standing guard to the sides of the pillars, while well, there's a rather bored looking human guard. Just sitting at a table and within the uh, wall steel. Up to the left, not to the right, not around my neck. <laughs> wow! I mean, so. you're not wrong. He, mountain is around my neck. True, yeah. There also seems to be a line in front of you. At which point, the God Hunter just walks out and waves. See inside if I do. Do we, I'm do sorry, we, wait, what? Not, do we wait here? Yeah, you just have to wait in line. Okay. You see, she walks in. She's. It's clear she's whispering something to the guard, pointing back to all of you, and then keeps walking. <sighs> but wait, what is oh, the wait, name? Wait. I, did, did I see them? Because I have observant. I can read lips. Did I see what they said? 
Give me an give me that notice if you want to try. How do I do I just get the feet in the perception roll? Alright. Uh, does observer give me advantage? No, it's not investigation. No. It's not investigation. So just perce straight perception. Yep. Yee. Fifteen. Wow, the dice is rolling so slow for me. Okay. Yeah. <clears throat> oh, it's your, it's your turn today. I see. You can't make out everything, but you do see the words suspicious and character. <laughs> oh, fun. Great. I think they called I mean, you sus. I mean, in fairness. Yes. All of this is... What do you mean, in fairness? All of them are sus to me. They said you're suspicious. Specifically. They said I was dead. They're out of their minds. There's no way I'm dead. I'm here. I mean, that is suspicious. <laughs> Why would they think you're dead? I don't know. Waiting Maybe in line not... takes another 30 minutes while you were all bickering. Uh, can I use some colorful can dialogue? I... Can I hypnotize them or something? No, like, no. so we could get to the front of the no, line? No. <laughs> no. This is taking forever. Patience. Patience. You... I have none. Okay. Oh, uh, if I have to stand out here in this ungreat, unwelcoming heat, then you can stay out here too with me. I can st I can still feel it. DB, uh. as you say, it would still feel fine. You just feel and hear the rumble behind you as you're about to walk into the gate. The rumble behind me? Well, technically ahead of you, but also t behind you as far as the path is concerned. Okay. The rumble's enough to to chink down some of the gravel that road where that was there. The guard, sitting in front, having not really paying attention to the line like you should have this entire time, is looking down at papers and he goes, Name, species, and purpose for city visiting the city. Uh, 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 let, let me go first. Okay. Desi Swift. Son of Primas, I am coming home. <laughs> he just flips, he flips. As an awareness of the fact that both Desi and Primas Swift Claws are supposed to be dead, if I he clearly looks up. I am not. Here is my paperwork, and here is my ring of my lineage, as well as the crown upon my head that was placed there. Tap, 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 paperwork. Leans over. Are the rest of you? They, yeah. They are with uh, me. Oh, do we, do we say our names too? Yes, please. Yes. Okay. I Name. am Cobalt. Demibald. Oni Interrogator. Hello. Come here to visit. Visitation. Got yes. it. One one suspicious person, possibly even detained for questioning. One visitor. Next. Hi, sorry. May I trust your devotion, priestess? He stops and he's like, priestess? Of which god? I do not think that you would know them here. Well, that's on brand for... Desi to bring someone of a religious nature to the one city where this is a bad thing. Jeez, oh, no wonder why the God Hunter said she was suspicious. I put the on the ring. <coughs> Leave it on. You just see go on him with a the head uh, just face in hands, piles of paperwork. He's like, Okay, unique situation. You, snake person. What Orda, are yours? Orda Kokohas, um, ambassador, uh, winter uh, ambassador, winter sorcerer. Okay, okay. So we have a dead man, a priest, a small lizard person, and I'm assuming twin. There's... And a, and snake person. 
Hmm. Hmm. He gets up. The gate is still that that you in still I'm, isn't I'm open yet. He, he didn't turns... mistake them for a in an elongated gorgon. <laughs> <laughs> what? <laughs> Resisting he, urge to charm. Resisting urge. Yes. He promptly resist. turns around and opens the gate door and goes, Captain, I think this is more than my pay grade deserves. <laughs> you just hear, hear the grumbly growl as some old, older uh, Leonin with an eye patch comes out. Well, if this is going to be bothering me in any five whatever gods it's still left to remain. And so he's, his eye just wide, staring at Desi. That Desi is just standing there. Uh, basically, in this at this point, the moment he walked in, he basically went back to his uh, proper stance as a prince, uh, and as a basically as a proud son of 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 uh, of, 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 of the of Oreskos and. So he's standing how he's supposed to stand, like how his father taught him, and how, as you know, as a very strong, it's giving off the leadership vibe, basically. Mm. I, but he's just stares father guys. So he's like, no, yes, no, yes, it, yes. It, walking over, put hands on Desi's cheeks, like pull close. Just, just, you know how grannies do the whole cheek pinch thing? Is that your dad? This is not my father. I wouldn't be his dad. I'm not that strong. Let's go. Oh. <laughs> but also, Desi, as I live yeah. and breathe, Desi, how'd you make it past the next barrier? Uh, it's a very long story, but uh, I went off on a mission to... Uh... To save some other lands from a very terrible mysteries. The those other lands being in Nyx itself, right? Because uh oh it's gonna be a hard thing to explain to the Lord General. Nyx? Or at least one of the captains. I need to ask you what happened when you were home. Do you want the long or short of it? At this point, let, just keep it short and sweet. Okay. Long story short, you died. Your dad got mad. <laughs> but And we've seen a good Leonin go to war. I... Obviously, I'm not dead, because I am right here. In the, I repeat, in the flesh and a lot of, Hence why I said this is going to be a lot to try and convince the Lord General... Or the other generals, primarily because uh, you're alive and breathing uh -huh. with a corpse that's literally interred. What do, a you corpse? Mean, what do you mean a corpse? Your corpse. That's impossible. How could there be a corpse of me if I am here? Easy explanation. You walk back out of Nyx. That is the forger's business, not, not, not any of ours, though. I'm not Nyx. It, clearly. After all, the re <laughs> the Reforce are not Nyx either. They still drip Nyxian stuff of that weird-ass metal the Forger makes. Uh -huh. That, and not only that, you returned with, and pardon my offense to anyone who is in the group, you returned with literal creatures that, <laughs> that don't, <laughs> don't exist. Well, except, I mean, the small dragon makes sense. After all, the Lord I... General exists. Um, well, I mean... Wait. There's, there's another one of me? Uh, wait, there's a, lord, a dragon that is a Lord General. Mm-hmm. Oh. He's the current head of Tethmos. All right. Now... Cool. Now... There's gonna be a, some uh, other small problems you gotta. You're gonna have to note while being in this city. Number one, Desi, your face is kind of known. Uh, but, 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 oh, I am the son of the, of Oreskos. You're the son of someone who started a war. 
but I didn't. That was not my fault. I was. Doesn't mean people aren't going to see you as something returned from the dead there. And how are we to avoid this? I can do that. I can help you. With you, there's no avoiding. With the one who calls herself priest, I'm more worried about. Oh, uh, why is that? This is a city of no gods. <laughs> I'm surprised the hunter that came by didn't pull their sword out on you once they realized you were a priest. But then again, never, I'm pretty sure none of you mentioned it around her. It never came up. It never? Oh. God, God hunters do not, I repeat, do not like priests. And the Church of the Godless, well, they're mostly harmless. Just don't start anything with them. What a fascinatingly ironic name. I heard that one of my sisters I... still lives. Lives is a quaint term for that one. She's not in New Tethmos, if that's what you're wondering. You have... are... So, okay, I need to ask you. So, are we going to be, what, assigned a guard, or what, 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 what? What is what is the protocol now of this new that since you ever since you were pointed out, we sent up a runner to see if the Lord General would be interested in speaking with you. I see. Apart from the fact that we've already scanned you for Phyrexian infection. <laughs> they exist, and we are always on watch. That's As you cool. notice, one of the uh, one of the being one of the reforge is busy scanning the people that's behind you, but a lot quieter than the uh, than uh, Baragi did. Yes. Oh, I am um, just just a question. Um, how how long ago did this all happen? How long ago did uh, Desi's father die? We're coming up on the yearly se- on the first year celebration of the event. You mean? Shortly after I left on my mission. Yep. I see. And you say, you say that he he and the okay. other body that claims to be Desi, they are interred here in the city. And Desi's uh, face just starts to uh, tighten. And, uh, very visibly shaken. But he, he, to one of his uh, knees, slightly gives where he fall sideways and then picks himself back up. Desi's body would be with the rest of the truly dead. Up and up at the Zidic, at the Ziggurat. Opposite side of the city. If you at, well, if you bend over, crane your neck just a little bit past the gigantic bathhouse. The pink in one in the distance. The pink one, yes. Oh. <laughs> There's an even tall, the taller building behind that. It would be the ziggurat. Ah, That's where I the see. Lord General stays. I see, and Bre- Brema's and his, his body is there. Yes. Brema's body isn't here. Ah, what about my see. other siblings? Are they here as well? No. What, what happened to their bodies? They're at Necropolis. Oh. Um, you may have been away. Uh, Miletus is now Necropolis. Miletus? Yep. Place turned into a, place turned into a, zom- a zombie, uh, well, uh, I think the forger put it the words right, zombie apocalypse, shortly after Mogus' death. I see this is uh not new news. Hello. I'm sorry, I I thought I could handle the news, but Desi, it's it's all right. Well we'll we'll get in and we'll We'll find some way that we can we can rest for a little bit and 
you can process this. Don't have to do it all at once. No, I have a question for you, Captain. Mm. Is there any place we can go eat? I think I need some a beverage. I need. Is there any place where you're? You know what? I I I need to ask. Is that do you have a a soldier or a guard that that can? Uh, I'm sure the runner will be back soon. Do we need to disguise you, Desi? No, I refuse to be disguised. Okay. I will, I will take what comes as it offers it. I am the proud son of Oreskes. I will not hide my visage. Okie dokies. If you want to react, mm. let them. <laughs> he goes, just don't go around calling that one a priest. Um, well, she is also, uh, one of my family. <laughs> like his eyes just go to her. Oh, right, you're that son. <laughs> yes, I am that son. He adopted a lot of people. It's quite all right. I, uh, I won't make trouble, I assure you. You better not. It's not you who I'm worried about, anyway. Just three times. Where's that I'll, runner? Okay, let, me, let me just say this. If anyone has any trouble with me, Okay. Steps approach from the opposite side of the gate. A human with blonde hair and a horse tail is is standing on the opposite side. Is this the group in question? The... Uh. Captain, a captain comes over. Ah, they sent you, Helix. Why? Who else would they send? Eh. Oh, I mean, true. Um. Yeah, this is the group in question. The I believe the Lord. Uh, let me get see that message. Let me hand him the message. Yeah. Unscrolling. Ah. <sighs> Lord General uh, gives his greatest uh, hello and or greatest salutations to the child of Brimas for making out of their deals and wishes to see you immediately up on the ziggurat. He has also requested that the messenger that follows be return with the group in question, just so they don't get lost. Oh, yeah. well... There or them's the orders. Big yeah. boss said. Big boss says to let in the <laughs> the godchild, the god's okay. child, and his companions. Can and he we, walks over. Can we please po- not rehash that old nickname? I really didn't like it. Godchild. Yes. Long story. The gates open up, and company, I'm just gonna, I mean, uh, binary, I'm just gonna dip you and add you as part of the group's token. Yep. <laughs> so, well, so while we're, we're, while you're making our way there, I start to explain uh, the, the reason for the nickname of the God's Child is because you see, after our mother passed, the God's decided to take a liking to me. One in particular was uh, Karametra. And uh, <laughs> she is the one that I referred to as uh, Sky, uh, Sky Mom. Oh, it's for refuge. It's for refuge. What? Did you pass? 
pass by a, a, a crier tent. And to your left, you hear the neigh of horses, only to see Pegasi oh. in one of the stalls. Oh, there's really? How is it possible that it's all different, but also still the same? As you come across, there is a statue that is currently half-built. You notice it's made mostly of gold and brass. Whoa. Interesting. Little Looks pretty cool. Body, but okay. Not really. It didn't use well on the brass and gold. I'm like the silver. <laughs> 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 the soldier that Tashi was taking you past pretty much the market what you can assume is the marketplace on the left you got various uh stall attendants but it looks to be all food Ooh. and material at based can we can we grab and go can we grab some uh, you did say food no i, I, I would I, not I, wait no is, is it a, position uh, i'm sorry oh. helix is, is it possible for me to just i i really do need We will make this a quick one, but I can assume... Is, there a, is there a stall with the tweets? Oh. I'll lead the way. Go oh, dragged in. Yeet. Yep. <laughs> Alright, that was G3. Yep. Market stalls. The market. A tagline from... From what do you hear from one... From, a, from one of the merchants. Find everything you need for, for food and hearth at the markets. This building only slightly smaller than... Uh, well, <clears throat> it's a huge building. You would want, can liken it to a flea market from our times. Yeah. But pretty much, you're, what you're looking at is foods, wines, all placed out. There's even a uh, griller in, in the market, busy flipping over various meats. Ooh. The scent of spices, fresh linens, and various fruits. And, of course, one market, one uh, person walks up to uh, Helix, a Leonin of sorts, and he's like, Ah, Helix, my good friend, we have brought you the apples that you require. I swear, that story's got everywhere, hasn't it? I mean, it, it's part of a famous event, but please... Have the apples, uh, oh blessed one. Free of charge today. Oh, apples. I do thank oh. you kindly. It, oh, and as, as do, uh... Helix takes the basket of apples, you see the merchant just bow and then step away. No, oh, okay. okay. That is definitely a story you're going to have to explain later. Another time. Now. Please. You can see he's not very comfortable with this whatsoever. <laughs> to the tea house, please. Yes. Don't worry, I will cover all costs in this. Now forgive the tapping. The stick helps me get about. You see, you see a bunch of uh, people at uh, like tea stall. There wasn't really a tea house, but they do have outside furniture for, where most folk are digging around and just chatting it up while partaking of the product. So, so you all understand we are not stopping. I just need one cup of tea. Just, just, just you? Oh. Well, no, we can all have tea. I'm oh. just saying I need this tea. Well, steady. Oh. Okay. Sure. It's been a very long two days so far. Yep. Very long oh, no, two few days. days. Few days. Sorry, few days, because it's been more than two days. It, it <laughs> has literally only been two days. It's been a <laughs> month no, for me. No, it's been a little more than two days. Because remember, it took <laughs> a day to get to where we got, and then it took another day to get like You're here day. on the evening of day two. Oh, but, yeah, oh, this is okay, well, dude, Look, this has been yeah. a very long two days. <laughs> it's, it's I go back to my previous statement. <laughs> it's been ah. a very long two days. Yeah. Yes. I can hear it. All right. Anyway, take a few. 
I'll have everything brought to you. Got any sweets? They do. Ooh. We do. In fact, you. you. Make a list. And I'll have it run. Do you have a. I seem to remember Desi telling me about it. The thing at a. Uh, what was it called, Desi? Uh, was it uh, bal- Balaclava? Oh, you mean Baklava? That's it. Wow. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. one I probably haven't heard for a while. Um, mm. it takes off the uh, server that was there. It just, uh, I don't know if we were making baklava today. Um, the, the satyr just puts his fingers together. He's like, uh, I'll go back and check, but I can't guarantee. You also right. have cake? Uh, Chocolate? We have bread. I'll take it. Okay. <laughs> Large bread. A lot of bread. That you were brought like a big loaf of sweet bread. Ooh. Well, they bring out the teas oh, and the. Well, it, it, does he? Does it? This verse to the, uh, to the, uh, to the satyr uh, asking. By any chance, do you have the tea, the, the very special tea blood called? Special. Well, it was one that was made by my mother. Uh, I'll check, but no guarantees. Hey. What's in it? Lavender, chamomile, rose hips. It's a very, it's like drinking. Certainly sounds. Oh. Certainly sounds soothing. It does. It it was a very special tea my mother made, and and she gave the recipe to the people. He returns. They called it the house special because she felt like every sip could change the cup. Aww. He returns, he's like, I am very sorry, we don't have that tea. And it seems the baklava isn't being made today. Ah, uh, a pity. Do, do I shall endure, Do you have any lavender or chamomile? At all? We'll have to have someone ask the spice dealers. When they come in. Uh, what, what, he, what as he mean? turns his head and looks over to an empty, <laughs> to an empty stall. Uh, you don't have to name them, just show the menu. He's, he's got the classics. <laughs> I will take uh, this one right here. The, okay, <laughs> good choice. Well, I'm not going to write out 50. By, by, the, by the way, you are very welcome, Arden. You're very welcome. <laughs> You've got two Brits in the thing. We could probably name about 50 different types of well, tea well, between no, us. Well, no, no, no. This is not that. It's a, it's a, it's a I, I didn't want Arden to have it come up off the top of his head. <laughs> I was like, whoops! Cree. No, no, we're not, we're not doing that. Anyway, moving on. Oh. So, all teas are dealt. You've had your food. Helix, are you going to try and pick up the tab for them, or are you putting the tab on uh, the Lord General? Oh. No, I, I, I actually put the tab on myself. Just take it from the catches from last week when they come through. Okay. It's been busy. The catchers? Go figure. <laughs> yeah. The... Anyway, the delightful bunch. We shouldn't keep the Lord Protector waiting much longer. Heaven help heaven if he had my head for it. <laughs> <laughs> You reach what? this corner. Which way are you taking him around to see him? Are you, or are you going to try and shortcut him through the barracks? Oh, I put the bread. Also, side note, I put the bread in my bag. I brought a bag. <laughs> I, I didn't need the bread. I was, was going to take the most direct route. All right. So, so you follow. Probably through the barracks. Most likely around it, because 
through the barracks, you'll have to cut through a short portion in an alleyway. But hey, they at least still get to see the very beautiful uh, oh. tavern that's attached to what is just a lavish, lavish bath. Are we, are we going there a little later? We'll go there later. Not yeah, yeah, uh, late, late. I, not now. I said later. No worry. It looks pretty. And while you pass by, you hear the sounds and clangs of uh, soldiers training within the area. You think and why did that open up? No. But no, they go on to us all day. Oh. You keep on walking, keep on walking, essentially. You reach this section of residential area where, Desi, you were oofed in the leg by a small feline, a small lioness. Wearing a wide brimmed hat. No! Uh. <laughs> oh! Flying Mister! You're supposed to run! What do you mean I'm supposed to run? I, I mean, now that I've tagged you, you're it! Run! Oh, you mean like <laughs> this? And he literally poops around the nose and goes, You're it. Fair! <laughs> Like all pouty and stuff, and you just hear another female Leonin calling from the building. Kara, get your butt back in here. You're supposed to be playing with the boys. Oh, but they always want to stay in the yard. I I don't want to hear it, Missy. So stop worrying, mad beautiful Le- Leonin. Je- <laughs> Why am I going suddenly southern? Yes, I was wondering. <laughs> it's, not- it's very, <laughs> it's very when, easy to go southern. When, it, when, when did we go from 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 this this beautiful <laughs> Theros to Georgia? <laughs> wait, wait, wait! Family BB, values. BB, can you can you do Desi's voice in a southern accent? <laughs> well, I don't know about you, but. <laughs> I love it. Uh, I so she, DB rep- no, Desi I'm represses not, his no, southern heritage. I am not doing that. Absolutely not. No. <laughs> As the lioness looks that. up and was about to say, we don't need to be disturbing any beautiful meh. Meh. Kara, get, br- get in the building. And she hold. she like grabs her daughter's hand and just drags her way into the building. And all you hear the girl's like, aww. Doors shut. Read her mind passively. What are thoughts? No, I actually she but open that. doors yeah, to Koa. Yeah. I mean, she saw Desi's fate and clearly freaked out. <laughs> <laughs> and, oh, that's Desiderius. Yeah. Well, no. De- oh. it, no we, it's we, just because of you, Desi. I don't do Desiderius. No, 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 no. That's, it's just <laughs> Desi. Everything was changed to the screen. Der- Darius? No, no. Desiderius is no. That, that name is. I mean, that's what she thought. No, 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 no. I'm telling Arden. It's not the same. Oh, okay. It's just oh. Desi. Okay. Let's <laughs> move on before we have any more interactions oh. like that. Yeah. You come up onto the stairwell of the ziggurat. I, I have At a, the bottom I a is a golden statue. Very lovingly detailed of Desi. Wind flowing cape and everything. Oh my god! <laughs> it's you! You look good! Further up the stairwell, you see Brimas. Can, 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 wait, hold on. Can I, can, I, can I explain to the others what they're seeing? Yeah? That, that's your statue. Yes. I know that's supposed to be me, but I'm not a paladin. Not I mean... Anymore. I mean, when I left here, I was. It's it's just a little weird seeing the old me. He's pretty cool. The armor's pretty shiny. Uh, anyways, let's. Is that my father? On is both sides, on both sides of the stairwell, there you, is flanked with a small waterfall that's trickling all the way from the top. In the a little further up from Desi's statue, is the statue of Brimos, also lined in gold, but holding. Mogus's head and having a leg up on the body of the Minotaur. Right. Behind, behind him, a silhouetted face of a younger Leonin. Wait, is that supposed to be me again? No. 
Further up, you see that same Leonin and Brimon's fighting once again. Oh, wait, hold on. Is that not you? That is not me. There's different... There's differences, though. This one is a lot smaller than Brimas. He's wielding a sword, for sure, and has a very thick and fluffy tail. Uh-huh, uh-huh. You had to put in that thick and fluffy. I, I, I saw what you did there. <laughs> is that supposed to be Arden? Hold on. Hold on. I'm sorry. Just give me a moment. Whoa. I'm sorry. Can I, can I... Do I catch hold of that? <laughs> wait, so, wait, hold on. So yes. Desi, Desi, Desi breaks free from the group and just runs up to the statue of his father, and just you see both of his hands on on the foot of of, of what is supposed to be his father's foot. And he's just I got his head laying forehead down on the earth. And just, oh, I'm sorry, I'm late. I'm home. I'm gonna come up and oh. be glad you're home. Hmm. But not the whole no, I just. At what cost? And you see him just slam his fist on the base of the statue. And just... Here's. Stands up again, wipes his, wipes his eyes. And... We, we, we need to keep going, Dad. I, I, I can't. No, I, I, I will not. I will not stop. <laughs> I know what my heart wants to do, but no. I. Then do it! No, we must. No, uh, don't that, be there is time for that later. Hmm. We, we, have, we have some other work to do. Okay. You go, you go a, few, uh, a few more steps up. There's another golden statue, one with the face, once one once again with the faceless Lenonin, but two other very strong individuals Desi would know as Kriakos and Emilios. Around the base of the statue where they are standing, it shows Thassa in front of the nameless Leonin. It shows another. It shows Nylea. In front of Kriakos. And Phoenix in front of Emilios. Whoa. So your siblings? The brothers, yes. Oh. Huh. I'm for the. <sighs> do, you, do you proceed? He just basically just puts his his hand on on each of their feet and just and and just kind of like just quietly to himself says, "I'm sorry, I just didn't want to be here." I Koa goes up to Desi real quick. It's okay. We got time. The ship's not gonna be fixed for another few weeks. And when I touch Desi's shoulder, I, I cast a small spell. When I say you got time, this a, a soft yellow and blue glow goes over his shoulders. Oh. Oh. For eight hours, you get an extra D8 to initiative rolls. Oh, nice. Okay. 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 Oh, lovely. Okay. <laughs> okay. You know what? Out of character. Yes, you are my wingman now. Um... <laughs> <laughs> and, and, yeah, it's not an enchantment, so I can't duel enchant people with it. But, like, yeah, there we go. All right. Th well, out of character, thank you very much. In character. Uh, thank you. We got, we got time. Like you said. First, we got someone to meet. Yes, first things first. And then I'm more of the dead. The next level up. 
shows Olympia and Eleonora. Oh, why? It's both, okay. Both in robes, back to back against the faceless one yet again. Sisters. It seems like the faceless one is giving some sort of speech, and below, and at the feet of the foot of the statue, you see just the masses, like what is supposed to be representative of the masses. He does the same thing for his sisters. He puts his hand. It is at this point, I will allow anyone to start making perception rolls to notice anything extra on top of these. Well, he's going obs- to be very observant of his sister's statues. So, uh, does it go past my passive perception? Passive perception is. 18. Would... It goes past it. All right, I'll roll. Fifteen again. <laughs> this is digital dice. Give me, give me a moment. That this, this thing is now going very. Oh. All good. Uh, perception. Fourteen. It would be the first one because I don't have advantage. Oh, so four. So it'll be four, and then Hulgen, yeah. who's with me. Hold on, Hulgen, who's with me. Golgen's here. Yeah, Hulgen's always with me. Oh. I never go anywhere without Golgen. Oh, okay, okay. That hence why I always have. Hence why I always have a. That's I'm surprised he got yeah, that... through the front gate. Yeah. Well, I think, yeah. They probably thought he was a piece of armor. <laughs> Am I waiting on Kogan's roll? <laughs> yes. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm just uh, try, trying to get the sheet up. Uh, perception is intelligence, correct? Yep. Okay. Perception is wisdom. Oh, whoops. Perception is wisdom. Okay. Rolling. Yes. Wisdom. Okay. Ignore, <laughs> ignore, yeah, ignore the yeah, twenty two. Yeah. Also, I don't know if this is gonna come in handy, Arden. I'm just gonna leave this here for you, <coughs> since I have the watcher's eye. I can pick out organizations and such the like. All right, so yeah, for you've oh, you've pretty much picked out that each one of these statues is related to some sort of organization in the oh. city and their founders. Wait, that means just giving you that per watcher's eye. Yeah. Does, oh. What does Colgan get? All right. <clears throat> the lowest was 22 of the passing. So both Colgan and Naya, you would know this, or you would notice it. That faceless statue has two things about it that don't seem to change. One being the sword. Right. The other being... What you thought was weird at first, just two small nubs on the first statue, has grown into proper horns by the third statue. Uh, uh, out of character, I already know who this is. Out of character. Is it Arden? I can't <laughs> say. I can't say. Okay. She, okay. Kind, of, she kind of, well, Nia's going to ask. Um, she kind of nudges Desi and she just goes, Desi? Yes. That, uh... That faceless one that we saw at the bottom, he's got horns now. Yes, I see that. I wonder what that means. Could be a curse, could be a blessing, could be... Could be anything from what I've experienced with you. It could be... A new type of tiefling? Perhaps. New type of tiefling. Wow. So I think I've just caught on as well. (laughs) I have no idea who that is. I have no idea. 
<laughs> Neither do I. Oh my god, my back. Yes, did I refer to the faceless Leone with horns as a thief, as a potential new tiefling breed? Yes, yes, I did. <laughs> new race to make. New race to make. <laughs> well, I guess new variant. Uh... It's a new, it's yeah. a new tiefling variant. Yes. <laughs> it's a it's, le a, it's, it's Leo, a, it's, Leo key. It's Leo a, key. No, it's a Leo fling. Leo fling. Oh, Leo fling. I thought that was the, another word for a one night stand. Yeah. Only, yeah. With, only with a Leonin. <laughs> you call it a Leonin right. fling. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways. Okay. Right. Hmm. Back to you. All right. So following from that set, you go up to another one. Surprisingly, you don't know any of the people in this one. But it shows a it shows two Leonins, one scary, one very young, a human and a centaur, all with their hands in against one another. Below it, a shield is let is laying against the pedestal they are apparently swearing an oath on. Helix would know all four of these people. Yeah, if he would but... if he would care to share, if he wants to share. If my mind remembers it. <laughs> <laughs> I would care to share, but being the actual person, no, it's just drawing a fat blank at the minute. Here's what I know. I describe yeah. what I know. <laughs> <laughs> Technically I could just do this. I also oh, yeah. would like how to spell those names that we just you just said at some point? I have later. All the, I have all the spellings of my siblings. Can you Here's send them to me with writing Downtown. notes? <laughs> it's a, welcome to how my brain works in D and D. The no the notepad for it has been shared with you. Thank you. Expect me to butcher some of these. Yep. Yeah. Just That's just send me your siblings later later DB. <laughs> Oh, what a way to learn how to actually. <laughs> Flip sake. Before before Helix begins, uh, is there a way to get a message to my sister? Yes. Who are you I play, asking? Um, hide and go seek Ask, with this notepad. Asking Helix. <laughs> okay. I mean, if we knew where she is, because I don't, we'd be able I, to send a runner. I could cast a spell, Desi, if you want me to. You just have to describe her for me. I feel like I'm going mad. <laughs> <laughs> it should have been a handout, just under factions. Yes. Oh. Flipside. Oh, oh yeah, flipside. <laughs> <Blind. laughs> but yeah, Desi, if you want me to send, I can send a message if you want. You just have to describe how she looks like for me, and it has to oh, be under I'm twenty-five words. Half of this. <laughs> oh, you will. Thank you. Um. So basically, Desi, uh, will well, well, uh. To give Helix time <laughs> to jog yeah. his memory, it's as he uh, leans over and actually crouches down, leans over and whispers into. Uh... Now, am I talking to library or am I talking to? Oh, um... you'll find out in about ten minutes. Yes, right. Sorry, <laughs> and me. You're ta talking to. Uh, you're talking to library. Okay, you're talking to me. Uh... Library. All right, so I can send a message. Okay, so Twenty-five okay. words or less. All right, so Desi, Desi leans over and describes his sister. I'm not gonna go into it because you know, that's yeah, yeah. Is is one of the sister the statues? No, I'm fine with you. Uh, from what I know, is she one of the statues? Which I got Krakos, Amelia's, Nile, fine. I butchered all these names. Don't worry, don't worry about the. Oh, yeah. No. My sister, Arden. She's not on the. She's not one of the ones that are on the statues. Okay, perfect. Okay, yeah. So she's not. So he describes describes his sister to you. Well, to the library. In oh, perfect I detail. just. 
Oh, oh, okay. And then the message that he wants to send to his sister. Oh. Sorry, I'm late. Comfy, give me a D100. One second, I'm writing this down. <laughs> well, once you're writing this down. Late. There we go. All right, D100? Mm -hmm. Okie dokie. Also, let me just put the spell. I'm casting this. And a D100? Yep. Uh, there we go. 50. Five. What? <laughs> Wait, hold up. Does does the double zeros not count as like... No, it counts as zero. They count as zero. I'm crying. So five. Yep. <laughs> All right. The spell went off. Uh-huh. What? This is Desi. Sister, I'm home? Sorry I'm late. This is Koa sending the message. Okay. Goodbye. I love how it says that if it fails, it doesn't tell you if it doesn't arrive or not. Oh, yeah, I know. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> There's a five percent like, chance it doesn't 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 arrive, and I rolled a five. So, do with that as uh, what you may. At this point, I repeat, it's just it's just like it's yeah. At this yeah. point, he's like, yeah. Also, did uh, I, was it message or sending? That's twenty five words or less. Yeah, no, it's sending. I, I read it. Yeah, yeah, go for it. Uh, the spell does go off, and you see the light fly off to, God knows where. Yeah, it's going somewhere. We'll we'll wait in a few minutes. I'll, I'll cast it again later at a later time. I appreciate it is nine o two. Do we want to take the break? Yes. Can do. Yeah. Okay. It's Sorry, Brenner. We'll c pick up with yeah. you once the break <laughs> no, is all it, set. It, what's happened is I've run into the um, oh, nice anxiety answer. barrier. I get no, it's, for it's, the first time going yeah. through things. No, no. It's all you need to do is just scroll down and uh, find the names of the folks so you can point yeah. them out to people. Look, we will buy as much time as you need. So. We, we will vamp. Yeah, we will we, stall we, and vamp for we you. We will. We'll give you enough time to be able to find the information. What, I don't know. Really good at what happens if I click the fudge button? Roll. Oh! <laughs> what the hell? I, I was wondering what that button did. It said fudge, and then I'm like, don't. Yeah. What am I rolling? Oh, do you know what? I have been, fudge. I have been yeah. using Anyways, I've been well, using Roll Twenty for like five we years. We, I still wait, wait, can't work we, that are out. Are we in break now? Officially? Oh, I'm. We, you could go on break. I just put us to the just chatting thing. So like, you could go on break if you would like. If you need to use the bathroom, go use the bathroom. Yeah, I'm putting us into the <laughs> break now. Okay, I mean, I just chatting. I need it. I need it. I need to look tired. <laughs> Meow. Oh anyway. We're back on my on the recording. Yes. So Helix, we're on you. Yep, we're on me. All right. As some of you have neatly pointed out, these are the four founders of the city guards, which I'm part of. So don't get any funny ideas. Helios. And yes, I will butcher names. Nihilos. Nihilos. Uh, Jinberry? Oh, wow. Nihilos? June! It's gonna be fun. Um. Uh, no, no one Oh, my word. <laughs> you need me to pronounce the names? Uh, you will probably have to do that afterwards, yes. It's just, just say it in character. Vexis and, uh... <laughs> Exerious. I'm going to go with that. I am waiting to be scolded. <laughs> you're, you're welcome. That was so bad. I'm so sorry. <laughs> or... And I'm not going to correct you. Anyway, moving on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> they come up to the top show yeah. of starting to come to the top of the stairs and you see uh, the second to last statue having a uh, it shows the faceless Leonin and then Panos and Vula on him 
seeming to write up what looks like it shows but all three of them around a document apparently uh the creation of the laws in the city under it or at the base of it you see what seems like a formless mass with forearms just laying under the pinned the pillar that is pretty much holding up the laws. All right, he goes over. Just... Once again, putting his, his hands on their feet and just. Brother. Sister. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, I'm late. Just kind of taps, taps them, and just gets himself together again. And, all right, but how much further to this Lord Commander? Not much further. I think I could just roll up his tire. <coughs> the statues kinda... are like clean, right? Oh, sorry. Continue. She, I was gonna say she just kind of puts it. He's not that much old. Puts a hand on Desi's shoulder and just kind of gives it a, a gentle squeeze and says, we'll get through this. As you reach the top of the stairs, there's an armored Leonin with a grin, two horns. Next to him, a, a large armored dragonborn. Oh! Wait, they're like physically there? No, just... The statues. Oh, they're statues. Oh, okay. They are both holding their swords back to back on at their feet. One is showing the widest form of Theros, while the other is just showing a sort of like model version of the city. Oh. Helix, you would recognize that that statue was put up on the day with the forger uh was meant to turn his sights to a wider war effort while the lord general was given guard over the city yeah. you, you will see helix take a very deep bow um and his, uh, I, do, do, his chosen one does does the statue of the leon with horns look familiar now to me really not really? Okay. It, there's just something a little off about it. Okay. Alright. You were brought to the top of the ziggurat. The uh, building in front of you is that of, uh, think of the Parthenon in design. Yes. Open spaced, wildly. As you enter, you notice that on the sides of each part of the floor, and I'm bring y'all may put your tokens in on the left side if you wish to be in the room. Mm. Yee! Yeah, I have put the names down in the oh, library's huge. Yeah, so Martin <laughs> will adjust. Don't worry. We're giants. Suddenly, everyone's big again. And how the hell does a token get into this stuff? Drag and drop from the uh, side. Come on! There's a horse in here. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, come in. Or not. Oh, it's my turn. My laptop's turned to be slow. Oh, there's Desi. Large and in charge. This boy here. It's gonna be a little off center. No, uh, oh, that's it. <laughs> Oh, oh, Joy, the whole page isn't responding. Oh, yep. no. oh, it's not just me. Okay. <laughs> what? 
It's What's going on, guys? It's, it's roll twenty. Uh, it's that. Oh, there we go. It's caught up. We we love roll twenty. We do sponsor us. This is why I made sure that I had the phone oh. app so I could still get to the character sheet. Ye. Spon sponsor <laughs> us. Roll twenty. Sponsor us. Mm. Uh, that's not how we do it. But... Oh, you're right. I will send an email to them later. <laughs> That's the wrong one. It is the oh right. Oh my god, Tiamat! No. It's the right one, DB. No, oh. that's not the one I sent you. You never updated it. It's well, it's the one that I designed before game, so we're keeping it there. Oof. That's not what you designed before game. I did. A large. This is. I statted him before game and gave him this. I may have give. I can't find the other image you sent Damn. me. No, I'm not, about, I'm not talking about Pyotr. I'm, I'm, I'm talking about... Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Send me the right image again. It's in our oh, that's it's real. Like... Wait. <laughs> Wait, the Hydra's real? Yes. Oh, yeah. Damn. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's real. Oh, it was Bah. <laughs> okay. Can you toss me the image again, DB? That's so cool. It'll be in our private... I, I'm pretty sure I pinned it. Oh, yep, found it. Sorry, everyone, DM's got to fix a thing. Yeah, because something that one is from ages gone by. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Okay, no. Yeah. I mean, tell me not going to do it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, so, okay, so how do you pronounce those names while, our, while the DM is fixing things? <laughs> We're stretching. So it's Mihilos, Jinbei Nered, Aurelex, Iron Man, Vestix, Cloud Hood. Jinbei? No, you're Oops. not like me today, roll 20. Okay. Dang. Come on, roll 20. Fix it up. Oh, Maybe roll 20 just needs a little bit of VP Peru. True. <laughs> that was Stern telling off. Oh, yeah. Yeah, library okay. would be right behind co-op. Yeah, that should be good. I have 94 oh, health. Excuse me, how did you get more health? <laughs> Existing. 94? No, wait, no, hold up. 94? They're at 51. Why is that 94? Excuse me, what? I actually put the token in the room. There we go. That's the correct token. Yay! <laughs> Uh, don't don't mind the blood splatter. Ignore ignore that. <laughs> I'm just fixing the health. Fixing the blood splatter. I'm fixing their health. Stabs library twice. Uh, uh, there we go. That's the right health. <laughs> but that's not how we spill blood. That's a horror of the floor. It's not even. It's, it's it's not blood. It's just what's it called? It's sugar water. It's sugar water, yeah. It's a simulacrum. So we're going to have a sticky floor. <laughs> yes, it's a very sticky mar oh that's horrid. Oh. A sticky marble floor. Ooh. <laughs> oh, and it's a it's white really marble awesome. floor too. It's really impossible to clean off. Oh no. my god, you just see black spots and dirt all over that one spot that you can't Ooh. literally Desi giving you the stink eye because <laughs> <laughs> it's not happening As... canonically. Yeah, apparently I can't seem to manage my own token. Damn. For multiple. That's weird. All oh, right, we're yeah. missing. We're missing our messenger. I'll get him up. <laughs> apparently, I've gone on vacation <laughs> already. A well deserved vacation. I'll drag and drop you. Don't worry. He yeah. was just one day away from retirement. Oh, he didn't no. die. <laughs> you don't know that. 
Tatawa. <laughs> My god. Molify. There we go. Yep. Mole, 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 so you enter a large chamber. It is bright and sunny out, which doesn't help for what you see once you get into the main chamber. To your left and right, in order, are the re- a set of reforged centaur, a set of reforged humans, and a set of reforged Leona. <clears throat> Simply in a chair at the center of uh, the center, but on the opposite side of the room from you, sits a dragonborn, silver, silver in uh, design, and wearing gold armor. Behind him, there's a very big, big and sleepy scent, uh, hydra, each with a different colored head. Must resist the <laughs> urge to pet. And from, from the chair here, welcome! Hello! You must have had a long journey, Desi. Or shall I call you Uncle? Oh my god! I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, Uncle. You're an uncle! Oh, I mean, I don't know how long it's been for you, but it's been quite a while for me. Do I recognize the, uh, do I recognize this person? He's walking up like he pretty much um, straightforward. And he comes up to you, Desi, and just gives you a big old hug. At this point, you can see the uh, markings on his scales, yes. No, 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 no. It's just... I don't believe it. He so, sits you down. You see, you see realization please, please begin to dawn. Let, please let me finish. On Naya's face. <laughs> as she smiles. Can you oh let me finish? God. Yeah. Thank you. Nice is only quiet. Desi, it is your reaction. Desi just goes from his arms being limp and confused to his eyes widening and just after, you know, practically losing his entire family, uh, just returns the hug and very strongly and goes and just starts tearing up. He goes, you grew up very strong, Pa! Of course. After all, I ended up having to, well, do <laughs> do grandfather's work. Wait, what do you mean? Bahamut? He, he taps his chest like one uh, as one of the bulbs just shine on it. It's like, yep! Got his power and everything. What do you mean you got his power? Harnessing your prayers? He nods. And then he goes straight into artificer mode. It's like, and just starts looking at the armor pieces. Go, so how did you get this to work? And he goes, well, let's just say Arden helped me. But how did Arden help you? Arden was with us, and then he disappeared. He what? Mm. You sure about that? Well, I mean, you're Arden, yes. The the thief. Um, the thief? The thief? Mm-hmm. Yeah. He, uh, he hasn't told you about the multiple timelines yet? I mean, I... The fact that it was his fault that he's stuck here? I mean, yeah, technically. You were in his head. I, well, he is still in my head. But yes. Mm. I know of this. All that you hear in your head is, I don't like the look of that armor. And then they're like, in, in, in his head, the other, the, the other does the paladin does he Well, it's your fault you made it. <laughs> Sir! <laughs> 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 <sighs> Either way, Arn's a bit too busy. So, while you're in the city, you can deal with me. We don't have to have any explosions or anything happening with the reforged on the way. Um, explosions? Yeah, trust me. One? Well, no, we are right next to an active volcano, and Arden is working 
and as if almost on cue, just hear from the mountain. Kind of Of course. Are, uh, wait. Okay, so. If we're going to be mathing this math correctly. Maha is right in front of us, all grown up. Yep. Yeah. And Arden. Yeah, it's the only way I can do this math. And Arden is in a volcano smithing and I can only guess if if, if if everything's correlating the way I think it's correlating. Is that Pyotr? So you know him. Oh, that's a, that solves one problem. Well, that's also one thing I was going to have to end up explaining. Well, yes, because Arden has... Okay, just... Yeah. So, technically, there's two Pyotrs on this pl Okay, wow. This is going to be weird. I mean, two Pyotrs. Is the other one also a Hydra? <laughs> yes. Oh. I wonder how that's going to mess with this fine familiar spell. I want the pet. Wait, that big thing is but a familiar. Mm-hmm. Hmm. Not the companion. <laughs> you see Piotr's heads just shift, and then you're staring directly at intelligence. Not just, not Piotr's intelligence, obviously. You just know that someone is staring at you through them. So can I... Can Try and guess who it is. You, you may try, but you you do realize Baja's just like tensed up a bit. Uh -huh. Is the other one listening in? <laughs> Baja. Uh, Baha, Baha just makes the gentlest of nods. Yeah, of course, he'll check in on time to time, especially on interesting things like, oh, I don't know, uh, the return of the son of Brimaz? And, uh, I have a question. How is there a corpse of me when I never That is a good question. Who presented an imposter to my father? Heh. <laughs> uh. He, he just points up to the mountain. Just as you hear another. Ting! Rumble. Clarify to the people that I am not dead, especially not Nyx. What has happened has happened. I have no quarrel with that. Just do not want to walk around and people think they see ghosts. I mean, I think he goes. Koa barfs on the floor. Uh, is he going to be okay? Uh, it was a very rough. Ladder. Sorry, sorry about that. Press the digitation, the floor clean. Sorry, I had a woozy oh, stomach. It, it has been a very rough. Yeah. Sounds about right. <laughs> well, I mean, to make use of the city if you want. Um, If you want food, I can also provide you. Let's see here. How did it go again? Ah, 
Yes. He walks, he spins, a rabbit! All of you now have a rabbit in each of your hands. <laughs> um, oh, Naya, Naya, Naya cuddles hers. Noah snaps the neck and then, are we supposed to eat this now, or? Kawa! <laughs> what? <laughs> Even, even, even the, the reforge are looking down at this little girl like, what? Are we, so was this, sorry, there, there's something, okay. I, 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 my mind's on two places. Is this food or? I, I, I'm just wondering what happened to the other rabbits because. Library copies. Wait, no, 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 no. <laughs> I have a question. I have a question. Because what happened to the other rabbits? Because when that happens, it's. Twelve times level. It said up to. It said up to. Also, no, you don't know. You won't know. I'm not telling you. I'm just saying there are. I know that there are more. Because it. Do 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 we eat this? I don't. I don't know what I'm doing with this. What happened? It, no, uh, you weren't supposed to kill it. I thought we were. No, sorry. No, <sighs> Please Got excuse hungry. that one. That one is from a from a land that is very. Um... Was I not supposed to kill oh, it? Hold on. No, he leads it to Baha'i. He's like, this, this, this is also from another world. This is another, like you know, like Stompy and and the rest of your bubble. Bub bub By the way, how are you? <laughs> Well, uh, let's just say mom and dad are lived a decent life. Uncle Stompy. Oh, Uncle Stompy. He picked a fight with the Waterdeep Magistrates. <laughs> As a dragon? Yes. The Magistrate was trying to get rid of some inn that we were staying at at the time. Stompy did what Stompy did. Did Stompy did what Stompy do? But then I freed myself. I was dragged across all of time and space, thanks, uh, Grandpa Io, and ditched into a tower where I was a where I was met with new friends and new adventure. And yay! <laughs> and let me guess, the other part. No, no. First, we had this other cat. I think his name was um, Maik, the liar. Don't know why. He was actually a very honest thief. Um, uh, we lost him, and I thought, well, if I use what we found and curse to wish, I brought Arden to me. We've been practically inseparable ever since. It's just in the wait, past wait, wait, month wait. he has been... You mean to tell me that you wished for this Arden? He, he's like, yup. Well, technically I wished for my Arden, but that Arden didn't exist. Or, I don't know, some sort of divine uh, knowledge or divine intervention, but I got our, I got the Arden that matters. And not the thief of time. Oh, no, he helped raise you. <laughs> he stole me and kidnapped me from my home world that, by the way, I still can't go back to. He wasn't the one that did that. It was your parents that quote-unquote rescued you from a house that was treating you like a treasure. But they were holding the world's first drag dragon egg in thousands of years. I'm quite sure I was in a vault. And their orders? It, it's Arden's orders. He should have known better, especially with kobolds. What about kobolds? <laughs> Hi! Yes, the KWC was chaotic, but they still loved you. I 
And no, they did not do that on the Ardens Order. That was something they... Their mission was only to return a medallion. <laughs> That's it. They took it upon themselves to, and I quote, rescue you because they thought you were a kobold egg. Is he sitting on the thing? Oh, he sits and he looks over. He's like, well, that's all water on the bridge now, isn't it? I mean, after all, you're in the... Uh, well, let's just say he's not going to be having a great time. What do you mean by that? You hit the next barrier on the way in, didn't you? Is that thing was that meant was? to... Keep... Yeah. It's designed to keep uh, Planeswalkers and anyone associated with Planeswalker met, mana out. Although, now that he's staring, he looks at the kobolds. And seeing that those two are there, I'm guessing Arden just meant himself. So Arden is, keep, is keeping Arden. Well, that, Pretty that, much the gist of it. Well, that answers that. That answer. <laughs> well, in one of Piotr's heads moves down, and you just know that he seems to be whispering to the dragon. Ah, seems Arn's been making his moves already. The the lights in the in the Hydra's eyes. Go away, and you just see Piotr lay back down to sleep. Sleep. Um, Helix, my boy. Yeah? You've got another job. But I already have a job. Who else would keep things in check around here? The Forger which requests an audience with his best friend. Oh, this is going to be fun. Yep. He uh, said give him about a day or so, so I think we're done here. All of you, out. I've got a city to run. Uh, what? And what? I have questions. <laughs> what is that like? I see a line being drawn across the floor. Just taking measurements, don't worry. <laughs> Let I me know, I'll boost it. <laughs> patience. Man, I can't believe we're starting a fight already. Come on. The two human reforged step in the way, and he says, Our words are done for the day, Mr. Swiftclaw. We are not Enjoy done. the city. You and I are not done, Baha. There's still more I, I must know. Then find out when the city. I've got more people to meet and another war to plan. Another war? Well, the next war was only the start. We needed to fix the plane before we could... <laughs> before we could appropriately fix the plane for the Phyrexian invasion. What? Not like they'll be invading with the next barrier active. Fine, we are done for today. Hey. But we still have words. Plan on it. <laughs> well, I count on it. We make those plans elsewhere before any Desi of the Desi just leaves the room. Out. Desi just walks out. I was lost in thought. Library's just dragging them. Do we? Do we go? Do we just? Ah! I'm in lava. We go. <laughs> You're now standing outside the ziggurat well, with on. Helix. I need to fix this because it's not. Yeah. yeah. I was zoomed in on that volcano. Oh come on, roll twenty. <laughs> we love it. 
He is as cheery it's, as ever. It's just, I've never had this issue with, with the Roll20 before. It's just, for some reason, it's just, okay, there All we go. over the place? There we go. All right, we're ready for you, Arnold. Get Fanborn's treats back up here. You step outside the Ziggurat, and you are noticing that the city has become a bit more lively. Really, behind you, a few runners start running it back in to the room before they are dispatched away as you see them bound down the stairs. Quite a few of them, very agile. And you are given free leave of the city for a day. This is the point where I would like, if y'all could, give me social initiatives for what you, for um, whoever is doing things. Let me just. Put, do we just put all of our? Yeah, just put all the tokens out and uh, click. Get it going. Got you, got you. Library so huge. We love no, it. Wait. Oh, you were pulled away just as they were. You were about to be sent something, but you don't think you didn't want it. Wanted to see it because it looked like a jabbing metallic claw coming oh. out of nothing. Cole is just lost in thought right now in trying doing things in the head. Library's in charge today, holding on to Cole's hand. This why you shouldn't split your brain. My brain's not split. Also, how do I how do I do this with just the character sheets? Uh, let me get both of their in character sheets up. So Koa first. Nah, where did you disappear to? Oh wait, hold up! I just realized something. Does DB have to? There you are. For the duration, the target can add a one D eighth to the initiative. How long has it been? Less than eight hours. Yeah. Really. So yeah, DB, just add a D8 to all your roll, all your initiative rolls until Arden says otherwise. I, I have to wait until it allows me to do anything. E. Uh, oh, that's a good way. Library. Fifteen. Okay, I got a six. Now I need to roll a D8. Let me. Oh, this is hilarious. I don't know why it's doing this. I really don't know why it's doing this. This is it's never Did you have do you have Sirenscape on on your end? No, I don't. Darn, so it's not that this time. No, it's not. It's it's just not letting me do anything. Refresh the patch. Yes. All right, I will be. Give me just a moment, everyone. Hucky ducky, go is lost in thought. Oh no, I become New Jersey. Oh no. We went from Jersey, Jersey accent. We went from Georgia to Jersey. Wonderful. My God, go is lost in thought. Oh no. Yeah, I'm probably getting you know, crushed. Oh, you're how to never get gonna things. find a oh, yeah. you're never gonna find a good husband if you keep blowing people up. I'm telling you, it's the power I'm trying to show them. I'm powerful and such. They like that. Some, some of them are into it. Some, many more of them aren't into it. I'm sorry. It's I'm trying my best <laughs> here. So far, I found only one that's interested in such powers. <laughs> Uh huh. And didn't you say you had to kidnap him and lock him in your room? Semantics, semantics. This doesn't matter. You, I'm sorry. You doing what now? Somewhere um, on the <laughs> ship. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Roll Twenty. You're gonna be like everything else now, aren't you? Yes. Hold on, everybody. I'm gonna be going. I'm gonna go into the BRB really quick. Um, for the recording. You want to take five? No, no, no. I need to. I'll be right back.
Oh. Right, we are back. Initiatives have been rolled. This is mostly just for who does what first and gives everybody else their time of mugging. Since yeah. there's 24 hours. Koa, since you're up, you and library, what do you do? I'm you didn't still need to roll waiting. Library is a separate person. Uh, I'm still waiting for a message reply it's in my head. So. <laughs> I'm still waiting for that. You see, Cole is just like, he's not frantic, but he, he, he's slightly, he's trying to hide it, but like, he, he, he's, he's kind of a little scared. He's hiding it behind his glasses, but he is looking around nervously. Library, on the other hand, is actively looking around for something. Unsure of what, what they're looking for. Are you trying to do this stealthily so nobody else in the party can yes. see it? Or... Yes, I am. Then roll me a whispered stealth roll. E. Uh, how do I do that? Do I just roll stealth? Yeah, and then you should be able to click 2GM at the okay. top of your sheet. So, stealth. No, no, you should have clicked first oh. 2GM and then click stealth. Oh. Well, I'll re-roll again. I'll re-roll yeah. that. It is not the 15 you see on screen. Damn. Damn, damn. Oh, well. Hey, okay. Very actively. Just, like, looking around. So, Desi, your kobold is being ADHD, but you have your own problems. What are you planning to do? Pulgan. Now that you have a day in the city. Well, Pulgan and I... I try. I, I want to try and find someone that is not scared of me, that is willing to talk. Okay. Someone that, Give me an investigation. Someone that that's not someone that I can actually. Wait, was that the end of my turn? Oh. Mm. Someone familial, basically. So what am I? What am I rolling again? Investigation for your turn. Also. I didn't know my turn was over. I was gonna say, I was gonna say something else. Oh yeah. No, go ahead. Go Sorry. ahead. I haven't gone yet. So go ahead. No. Not getting a response to whatever was talking to him earlier. He's just like, ah, <laughs> what's in the bathhouse? It was Wait, mostly. Library. It was mostly because you got pulled out of the range of your own mental capabilities. Damn it. I'm going to the bathhouse with library. Okay, drag yourselves over to P one. But in reality, I'm finding a place that's hidden well enough to put a door on. <laughs> put my shield in and have library wait outside. All right. I will describe you once we get to your next turn. Because that, yep. that took you a while to walk. So it's still Desi. All good. That will be the second. <laughs> okay. These dice are too mesmerizing. Anyway, Desi looking for someone who might be able to tell him things. One, two. Well, someone that remembers three, him that's not four. afraid of him. Someone friendly. And five. Okay, give me a uh, roll on a d5. Oh, yeah, there's no such thing. Okay. Yes, d10 halved. <laughs> no, no, I can just do slash on one d5. Yep. A2. I will get to you on your next turn. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're doing things. Yeah. Helix, what do you do now that you see everybody's going to go do their own thing, apparently? I am going to visit my bag of sight and uh, get rid of these apples. <laughs> In the most humane way possible. <laughs> <laughs> Making your way to the G4. Yep. All right. Orda? 
from what you have gathered, pretty much everybody's been given free reign to pretty much explore to explore the city. Uh -huh. So, where would you choose to go? Uh, I'm just not really sure exactly. I mean, I guess you'll head over to this this general area, not knowing what it is, but doing his best to make sure he doesn't cause any trouble. Yeah. Also, why is he why has he got a glowing aura around him? He's not concentrating on nothing. Because that makes your turn. Oh, okay. It's the tur it's the turn token. Alright, so you're gonna be over there for my descriptions. And then Naya. Splitting up the party. Um, splitting up the party. Yeah. Uh Naya would given that this is kind of like sort of post apocalypse city, uh yeah. Naya's gonna want to try and find like the poor district. And kind of do her sort of healing the sick kind of thing. I'm down to white here with you. <laughs> I just realized I have no money. How the fuck am I getting any work? That's a good question. I'm not going to upscale you a bit now. I'll figure there it out. There <laughs> Behold! <sighs> and now, with everyone where they're going to be, I can do individualized scenes. Whoa. Go back. There we go. <clears throat> Koa. Yes. You walk into what is essentially the baths. Let me scroll up to have it. Things Road. The building is huge. This is by far the second biggest building you've seen in this world so far. Maybe the third biggest because you haven't been over to Universalis. Yeah. But you, there are a few things you notice pretty much right off the bat. It Not only is it a big bathhouse, it is a centralized hot spring. The entire building is surrounding just one big bath, where those of various modesty or uh, proclivities have decided to take their times. There are plenty of people about, Leonin, Centaur, Human, all of the above, who are... Either lazing about or currently talking with one another. You see another section where there's a table where, surprisingly, there are mercenary contracts, like just placed across the board right next to it. You feel this place doubles as both a of just a, a place to relax and to do business. Hmm. Okay. Do I... Um, hmm. Yeah, continue. You pretty much feel from all the surface thought, thoughts, a lot of the stuff that's going on is purely business. Anything pique my interest? Nothing too inconspicuous. You hear, you're hear hearing a rumor about a uh, the owner named Soot that's going around. Something about a failed attempt to get inside the armory. You um, also, and okay. another rumor you may be hearing is about a centaur who works for the God Hunters, who's currently, cr who most people are saying has stepped up his crying, and by crying they mean like calling, out to, out at the Universalis. He's being very vocal these days. Uh. The name and his name would be Uranix. How do you spell that? Y U R A N I X. Y U R I A N I X. Y U R A N I X. Yes, all one word. Okay. One of the counters. One of the counters. You see a Leoness. Uh, she's leaning over and like, are you looking to partake of the baths, little one? Yes, but my, I don't have currency f to pay. I'm just looking around and visiting. I, I don't currently know the currency here. We use gold. Well, uh, sort of a version of it. Uh, to be honest, the naming of the coining conventions here are so weird. Like, the golds are drachmas, 
What even Drach- is a drachma? Drachma? Greek, yeah. bo- Greek, Greek cor- currency? Me, well... Would I have any... Leon- I don't have money. <laughs> Leonin haven't done much in gold, but if you have something you can do in trade... Um... Well, my original job was interrogator. I'm also a good investigator. I can also read minds. I can cast magic. Do you need any oh. help? If you wish to, if you wish, you could press the up some uh, some of the corners around. Sure, I can do that. Uh, yeah. Is there like a room and board here as well, or? No, you would look next door to to the roost for room and board. Wow. Okay. We are we are exclusively relaxation and business here. There wow. are bounty- and there are bounties on the boards over there for uh, choice monsters. Ooh. If one would want to partake in a hunt. Sounds fun. Are there private rooms in here? Bag of the baths. Oh, okay. I'll press C along the way. If I could use a private room, if that's okay. You'd be welcome to, as long as we keep the keep the place clean. Will do. And uh, which way again? Which way? The back of the baths. Uh, that way, round the big pool. You'll see pretty much the smaller ones. They're usually used for private. Okay. And uh, changing rooms, well, over there, and you can, uh, and you should be able to go check most of your weaponry and anything else with me here at the counter. Okay. I I just see like the small cobalt take out this large hammer, put on the table, Uh, a couple of daggers. On the table, a couple of darts. She's she's getting that sort of face of this is becoming increasingly uncomfortable kind of situation. Uh, he just has scroll. Those are just scrolls on his back. This is for reading mainly. Um, I take libraries, daggers, and darts. Uh, I think that's about it. <laughs> like, okay. I will keep you ta- keep your stuff tagged here. Enjoy the baths. Thank you. And I will go to a private room. As, like slowly, just like both of us are pressed to dictation, whatever dirty spot that we see along the way. Yeah, but it's also like private, quote unquote, just means it's a bath where that's out there that uh, nobody else is in. Okay. You find that out as you get there, and you're like, wait, there are no walls between these it's things. No walls. <laughs> well, mm, what was that spell that I cast in, in the beginning where it just like it put an illusion of me first? I forgot what it was. Oh, uh, well. whatever. Oh, well. well I, I look for an area where I can place my shield down on the. Can I. Is there a place where I can like l- place it on the wall where library can sit next to naked enjoying the baths? Yeah, easily. <gasps> After all, you just turned in most of your weaponry and your gear to up to front. <coughs> Probably didn't True. include the shield. Nah. Did Although not she gave you a weird looks on that. <laughs> it's like, okay. It's for it's modesty. Your... It's my modesty thing. It's also comfort. Mm. It was my mother. It was my my mother's. Big old shrug. <laughs> okay. She's not paid enough to care. My dying mother. <laughs> 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 I find a spot and put the shield in so I can enter it. From, from some from somebody who works in retail and hospitality, we don't care. I know. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say. I worked in medical. I know. <laughs> I don't <laughs> care so either. <laughs> as you as you it open the door, much. as you yes. open the door and let uh, library walk in, you just hear from the door. Oh no, well, library library is sitting outside, just watching oh, the door. Oh, it's closed. Koa walks in. Koa walks in. So Koa just hears immediately from the side near near the kitchen of the room. Oh look what look what the uh displacer beast beast brought in. Ah, there's a lot of things going on. Well, oh yeah. Well, I'm I'm back, I'm back for a bit. Also I'm naked. I forgot I changed clothes. Not that I'm complaining. We're not no time for that. <laughs> but if I want to. It's been a stressful two days so far. But um it's I only been help. two days. It's been two days. It's, 
<sighs> it's still new to me, okay? I really haven't, like, done anything before. And it's just like, no, 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 that, that's a side story for us to talk about after later tonight. <laughs> uh-huh. Later tonight. Um, I need, a, need some help sneaking about. And I know one of my f favorite kobolds that likes to sneak. Mm. Please, just, just help me be stealthy for a bit. You want me to teach you how to how to not step using your claws? I need to borrow your clothes. Why? That's they saw me in my outfit. Okay. Are you expecting to be attacked literally this moment? Well, not attacked. I just want to get to a spot where I can use some some mind reading, because apparently someone here knows the elf, the bald elf man that we fought, like, in Tainabu, and is helping us somewhere, but they're in the castle, and I don't know if I could just walk in there. Think about it now, I should have thought this more through, but, like, that's the, that's the plan of thought that I'm going through. So you want to help like, my you want my help by stealing my clothes and going into a castle. Do you want to join in? Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I'll get off the ship for a little bit. Oh yeah, how's the ship? Uh yeah, apparently we found another Arden here in Baja. More people. Okay, so I don't know either of those names. I thought I, you've been on. You the haven't ship exactly caught, yeah, caught him up on everyone oh, yeah. who's on the ship. What was this? It was people on the ship. One disappeared, and the other one was a baby. But now they're an adult, and the other one somewhere here. The one who disappeared is, is an adult now. Yeah, it's just an adult. I'm just saying this in stark <laughs> nudity, <laughs> just naked. He's still giving you like the look of, of are you gonna get dressed or what? It's like, oh, I got com I kind of got comfortable. I like on the other side of the door is a it's a it's a bathhouse. So like, I'm gonna make you invisible when we leave. But like, it's a bad it's a bathhouse. It, they're expecting me to like not wear clothes. I think that's the thing here. All right, and you're yeah. gonna take the time to get changed. Yes, and minor illusion them naked, <laughs> still naked when I get out. <laughs> <sighs> Desi, we get to your scene now. Okay. You were, you got yourself lost, looking for someone to talk to you. You ended up on G two. Uh, come on, I know you put. Uh. As you're walking around, the um, what is essentially. The guard barracks to yourself, and what is sounds like a smithy marketplace, mostly winding down. Everything is supposed to be starting to get to nighttime. And as you're walking, you hear from inside of this ramshackle attachment to the smithy group saying, Hey, you! You lost or something, big guy? Yes. A human. No. You sure? You sure look lost. Well, this place is familiar and also new. Oh, what can you expect? Place is built by hand by the forger. And he's like, in fact, we've got some materials from the wall here if you want a piece of them. Hey, I'm sorry, but you said materials. You got you had me at materials. So, the wall's actually magic. See, concentrate on it long enough, you can help. You can help boost boost its potential. Literally, grow rocks out. I see. You see him pulled up a piece, uh, a piece of the white alabaster that the walls made off. You see him go. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm not a mage, but maybe you can give it a try. Focus. 
How much of a spell slot's power are you pouring into this thing? <laughs> you asked the magic word, didn't you? Yep. Well, the highest I can cast as a... This Yeah. Uh, a uh, level three. You suddenly find that the thing becomes heavier and heavier as you put as you put more mana into it, and once you hit the level three, it expands to the size of a statue, and it pretty much drops from your hand right next to you. You are now have a desi sized obelisk right next to you. <laughs> With the Therosian runes, I was thinking. Yeah, and another circle with a line through the center. Why is the Phyrexian emblem on there? That's never happened before. You sure you aren't a Phyrexian there, buddy? Uh, he I says, he yeah, elbows you. I mean... Weird shit's been happening ever since that hole in the sky <laughs> appeared. So, not surprised there. So, uh... The stone. Ye. Yeah. What is it called? I believe he called it Orosite. says it's unique, that it uh, helps people learn their magics. So pretty much we've been using it as a building material. Is it okay if I take this one? I mean, if you can carry that out, sure. I, look, Only cost you five gold. I had, five drachmas. I hand over actual five drachmas. Like, ah, good. I ain't gonna carry that thing out of here. <laughs> yeah, but the drachmas. Okay, so I need to explain because again, Desi's been gone for a year. These drachma have Desi's face on them. <laughs> they're legit drachmas, but they're from before. So these were these were the you... <laughs> these were the ones that were minted for his birthday. How do you carry the desi size obelisk out of the room? Oh, very easily. I um, slide the top of my bag of holding over it and uh, basically scoop it down. <laughs> Snoop. The guy. Huh. That's unique. Bet you the forger would probably look into that. Probably make it better, too. Um, no, I'm good. Alrighty. See you later. All right. Where else do you want to go now? But, oh, okay. Trying to find someone that would. Okay, I guess. Okay, I need to add aura sight, an obelisk aura sight to my to my things. <laughs> uh, God, no, hold on. At least we'll worry about the weight later. Um. Uh, anyway, so. Uh, Desi starts to think of himself, you know what, the one place that always had a lot of people talking, good place to get people to talk, and also good food, you know what, maybe, maybe they have a section for nobles, uh, he starts to head over to the bathhouse. Put you there. All right. Next scene. Helix. 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 Yeah. You meet your Pegasus, who has been happily sitting in this, uh, happily like bouncing in their stalls when they see you. Usually, when they see see their favorite human, that means they're either going to fly or get eat apples. What of which it is today. Uh, it's good to see that you are happy as well. <coughs> Brian's Nay. Any, uh, <laughs> anything else going on today, or anybody else drop by that I should know about? Hey. Just <laughs> shakes his head. Good, good. Anyway, snack on these. They're still as assistant as ever. 
Crunch, 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 gay apples. To basically groom him. Get like the whole day's frustrations out. So roll that animal handling. Oh, this is gonna be hilarious. Roll to handle animal. Holy hell. That nearly went sideways. A nine. <laughs> mm hmm. Good. Boop. Boop. <laughs> <clears throat> you pretty much take out the brush, you go through, and you start going through the their fur. But once you get to the wings, you find that the wings have been knotted very messily. And trying to clean them normally with a brush is not going to be the way today. Well, you're going to be difficult as well, I see. <laughs> you just you just hear stuff of the munch just to just for a... <clears throat> and then back to munching. Yeah. <laughs> Well, they give me something else other than uh, gang people about and looking for other such things to do. Yeah. Very well. And then you can choose where you want to go unless you uh, want to yeah, th- just search for folk. I-, I think once I'm done with that, I will be returning to you know, going to the bathhouse to get clean. There's no need wings. It's not going to be fun. Okay. Order. You are entering a place that is ginormous. It is so big that there's even a smaller uh, interior to it that it looks like it is just a dedicated arena. We say arena because currently there are two people on it flinging what you could only denote as elemental spells at one another. With some other students... uh, or people standing off to the side. Interesting. What sort of uh, elemental spells are they tossing at one another? Currently, the two are having fun with spells of lightning and fire variety. Ah. One is probably doing a shocking grasp, while the, or attempting shocking grasp on one of on his uh, dueling partner, while the other one is throwing firebolts. Pretty, pretty low-level stuff. Hmm. I guess he'll try and find a spot to basically quietly observe. A little curious to see how the ma- how he, from what he can infer, it's kind of like a school. It seems like so he's gonna just watch and see what happens with these uh, two uh, students. Ooh. That's what they are. So what you see is a favorable clash of arcane. One one seems to be using words, the other one's using motions. But to the same result, every time they're throwing one, either a lightning spell, a fire spell, a frost spell, they're pretty much throwing spells back and forth. You notice they're also not holding back because these students are taking chunks out of each other. And as as the the heat comes comes to a head, you see that one of them has to pretty much gets bound down by a stone fist. He's tapping down, and he ends up tapping out. From which, the students from the sidelines come in, and they are all glowing with radiant light as they are above the two and practicing what, practicing the gestures and the motions for healing magic. Huh. Interesting. You would notice that a uh, female human uh, approaches you from pretty much near your walking position, and she goes, Interested in the Arcana? Oh, um, a bit. I'm a new arrival to the city, and I'm curious about its uh, customs. What exactly is this place? Oh, um, this would be the our... Well, I, for lack of a better term, our church and our uh, school. Huh. 
We are scholars, you see, of the arcane of arcane natures into our world. And might I ask what you are? Oh, You're... I'm a uh, I'm a traveler from a long ways away. Uh, hmm. I don't know if you'd have a word for it. Oh, best best estimation, you're like a smaller basilisk crossed with a gorgon. Huh. I suppose. Is that a good thing or a bad thing? Well, you haven't turned me to turned me to stone with your eyes yet, so definitely not a gorgon. Ah, yes. I cannot turn people to stone with my eyes. Yeah, that would be very uh very counterproductive to the school. I noticed they weren't exactly holding back on one another. In a world where you, where you have to fight beast, the tamest beast that you can find is a peg, is an ordinary Pegasus. Um, most of the time, it just helps with rubbing in that real world experience. I believe the forger said as much when he when he suggested the founding of this place. By the way, we are... But where are my manners? Um, I should probably tell you my name. I unfortunately have an NPC that I have not named and I'm going to have to name because I'm a dummy. Ah! Hey. <laughs> Get citizen tokens. Oh, right. I don't have many female Leonin <laughs> tokens. Oh, boy. Crying. Well, how about you just call her Castoria? Castoria works. <laughs> I'll Open spell up. it out for you. Thank you very much. There we go. I'm Castoria. I'm the uh, teacher of the healers here oh. at here at the uh, Temple of the Godless, also known as the Universalis, and particularly the arena is our Temple of Magic. That's the second time I've heard that term, Godless. Yes, since the Forger has deemed to re. Renew our abilities in magic since the Nyx have uh, been dealt with. Um, he says that whilst Theros itself is a plane of, of extreme magic, most magic comes from faith. People have been misguidedly putting that faith towards the gods, but it's our job to teach them that faith in oneself and those next that one has pledged to fight in the beside is far more efficient not only do you cut out the middle man so to speak you cut out the middle god that's supposed to help change our magics instead we just follow our own path and become stronger for it interesting So all of the magic that all the all the magic your students know is learned, taught, practiced. Some talented few who are able to do it with to perform the magics without having to be taught. Hmm. Eh. Our founders just wanted to to have a different different way of you know. Stepping away from the light of the deities. And then they didn't want to go with the god hunters because the god hunters eradicate the deities. We just feel they don't need our support anymore. Mostly because, well, we can't really reach them at the moment, thanks to the next barrier. Let's see. 
It's an interesting philosophy. And a philosophy that works. And I guess for the moment, that's all I can really think of for what Ordo would do, apart from just listening in and just watching the, more of the students practicing on one another. You're invited to, to sit in on one of their lectures as well. Right. So you may have a bonus. You have a who may have a bonus to your Arcana checks for the next twenty four hours. Oh, neat. And now, <gasps> Fozinaya. After walking around the city a bunch, trying to look for places where people might heal might need healing, you are approached by two robed figures. One, one a uh, satyr, the other one a very energetic young Leonin. Both the satyr being female, the, the energetic Leonin being male. I go, and because after having overheard you speak of needing someone to heal, they come up and they're like, "Hello, are you a healer?" For my part, yes. You hmm. may. Ones. Good day, ma'am. Or well, good evening. Um, we do we do seem to be understaffed at your refuge. We we can pay if you want. I shouldn't require no payment except somewhere to lay my head. No, oh, then you're always welcome at the refuge. Everyone's a, everyone who comes to the gates usually goes there first to be scanned anyway. But come on, we'll show you. By all you're, means, be done. You are taken to what looks like a large facility made out of made out of the white stone, but it also has many tents and uh, privacy screens between various places where you see people who are either sick and coughing up black ichor, or um, they they look maimed in some way from having been in a battle of sorts. A lot of humans, too, are seem to be in the area. Some wearing armors with red tufts on their head. Seeing you, one of the other uh, priests in the area, walk up. She goes, ah, ah, welcome. Are, are you in need of aid? And the other two wave their hands and they go, no, no, this one's here to help. Oh, thank goodness. We've been so understaffed with, the, with all the stuff, with all the refugees coming from Akros. I will do what I can to help. Please, uh, do what you can, uh, do what you can for uh, what level of healing do you have? Um, <clears throat> she smiles and says, "Well, I, at the moment, uh, I have some basic spells at my disposal, but uh, once I've been able to rest and meditate, I will be able to." Uh, some quite powerful spells, but that will require the necessary reagents. I don't have very much of that on me in terms of if you're looking for uh, what's it? Uh, uh, two seconds. You know, and, uh, during your talking, they've also been sneaking glances to the heart that's beating above your head. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so I so said, if you want, if you, if you need, um, uh, something on the level of, say, a petrification, um, undone, then I'll need some time and some, uh, some diamond dust. Essentially, say, like, greater restoration, I'll need to prepare it. I don't have any diamond dust on me. Um. Uh, I can regenerate lost body parts if that's required. Oh, that will definitely be required. So much more useful. And um, I guess in repayment, you want to remove curse for that? Uh, you're welcome to try. Um, uh, I fear that that is... And she kind of she kind of flicks her eyes upwards because she knows she can't see it. But uh, it's not so much a curse as just an unexpected side effect of the way in which I arrived here. It was, ah. it was a, 
a, a magical hiccup. It is not dangerous in any way that I've been able to ascertain. Oh, I see. We could still get rid of it. Uh, if it if you think it's going to start bothering you, and I highly recommend you do, because not many people walk around with beating hearts above their heads. Well, Probably this is mind. true. Most folks have been giving you the wide berth. Well, that's entirely possible. You're certainly welcome to try, and I would welcome uh, if you can remove it. That would be uh, you would. I would be in your debt. Very well. So, in exchange for expending, I would say two level three, third level spell slots, if you still have yeah. them or equivalent, they go ahead and uh, cast the Remove Curse on you, which ends the Wild Surge on you. Oh, okay. Turning it from non-permanent, or from what was permanent to now non-permanent. Okay. But that was only in the expenditure of some spell slots. Me. Well, I was gonna, is it, there's, me, there's me going, well, if I'd, known, I, if I'd known all it took was a Remove Curse, I'd have done it myself. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Except you haven't bothered checking. Well, it was the way that you said it's over your head forever. And I was like, eh, fine. It's just uh, a little healing effect. <laughs> a beating heart. Uh, but yeah, I basically she'll put... Um, what what, what, yeah, she'll put whatever she's got. So um, I've got one seventh level, which I can use for regenerate. Um... Because that, uh, yeah, it's just no, no costed material components. Yep. Uh, so I, if somebody's missing an arm or a leg, I can grow that back. You've, been, you've mostly been working. Those who have lost arms or legs are very grateful. One of them, uh, is, you see, is I can't a only do it once. about it. <laughs> ah, so the one you did help was very grateful, but some of the others are just looking at you like, nah, don't yeah. let me. You also know that they seem that to you don't them. want your arm back. No, she doesn't say that. What you do notice is that during your shifts and between when you've helped them and them helping you, you do see some of the more worse off patients. Let's leave them leave them at that. Getting onto a cart and leaving the refuge, heading towards the gate. Where are where are they going? They are going to be reforged. And what does that exactly entail? Is this the... Are these the uh, very strange metal people that I've been seeing around? Give me a quick moment. <laughs> I'm not a fast typer when everything is going wobble. No, sir. So, can you repeat that for a second? Uh, she says, like, is that the the strange uh, metal people that I've been seeing around? Like, at the gate? The priestess who is going through, like, checking your scalp for various runes, like, yeah, that's them. They're... <laughs> The old, the too old or too sick are usually sent forward. We don't like the idea of leaving them to rot in their own bodies. You see. I see. What do you mean by what do you mean by rot in their own bodies? Nick's closed off. Death sort of leaves you stuck. I see. And we would rather do the reforge than. Leave someone to be in a body that is completely paralyzed and rotting from the inside out. I see. Does it hurt them? It, honestly, the none of the Reforge actually speak about the process themselves, but I'm pretty sure it's safe. The forge, the forger's pretty much said so, and we all believe, have to believe him. Everything he's said so far has been right. Hmm. You can see that Naya like definitely looks very uncomfortable about this. The dead aren't in their normal cycles, of course. But, yeah, it's it's more a case of it sounds suspiciously like somebody's building a slave army. 
Hmm. And that doesn't sit well. Mm -hmm. Um. Okay, you feel wow. a slight. You feel a slight tingle as she whispers behind your head, and then just with a or a pop, if you didn't hear it, the the heart above your head disappears, and it feels yeah. like a weight has been l released, like someone took a halo off your head. Ah, oh. well, I thank you for that. What is your name? She, she asks, like, the head nurse or the head priestess. We shall call her... Ophelia. There we go. <laughs> Good one. Easy for me to remember. Yep. Ophelia of the Refuge. Ophelia. Ophelia Refuse. <laughs> I am in the Wow. <laughs> um, Sorry. <laughs> but she, she'll say, I, uh, I, I am indebted to you, Ophelia. Um... I shall, uh, I shall remain with your leave, to for uh, as long as I can tonight, to help where I can. Just feel free to s stick around. Uh, yeah. we, all, we could always use more healers here. And yeah, basically, over the course of um, over the course of the rest of the night, I guess. Uh, she would use the rest of her magic just healing people where she can. Um, that means we'll probably um, remove you from turn order then. Yeah. Oh, she can, she can actually do two regenerations. <laughs> um, because nice. she's, because she's got a level eight, she's got a level eight spell slot as well. Ooh. Are you actually yeah. going to use that one? Uh, well, I see. I think I've already. I think I. No, I haven't used it today. Um, the. Let's see here. Just tell me if yes or no if you use it or not. Uh, I don't have anything. I don't think I've got anything else to use it on. So yeah, I'll use it. And we spin consequences. Consequences oh, I says one. Can I not upcast greater invisibility? Should be able to. That's I weird. Hold on. Oh, they're just three shy. Three shy. Oh my god. Don't... Wow. What the hell? Oh, that was close. Oh, okay. what? To six, six, six. Yeah. <laughs> yep. ah. You are at six, six, three. Six, six, three. Don't tell me the fucking heart comes back. <laughs> that would have been funny. That would have been but funny. No. That really would have been funny. Unfortunately, you don't know what just happened, but you know something happened. Oh, oh God. One of those. Something happened. Something, Question, does something, anything magical nah, that you're wearing something. contain gold in its creation? Contain gold? Yep. Mm, probably not, actually. Oh. Naya's more of a silver sort of well, girl. Well, well, the ring that Desi, Desi? The thing that the ring that Desi made for her is gold. Oh. With with Thorosian runes on it. Why? Well, that's not on your person anymore. Caster can't use magic items that contain gold. All right. Okay. For how long? Well, well, wait. You know, it was just a promise ring with some Thorosian runes on it. So. Yeah. Aww. How, how long? It doesn't say. So let's make it fair and give it a D twelve. Twelve hours. <laughs> Oof. It's 14 hours. For the next two weeks. I was going to say oh. probably 14 days, yeah. Um, yeah. That's fine. I don't, as I said, I don't actually think any of my magic items are gone. So, so Diane, that, that ring was the thing that Desi made for you uh, in the city of the Aboleths so you could breathe underwater? Oh, okay. 
<laughs> I'll, I'll have to bear that in mind that uh, that that ring for the next two weeks doesn't work. Yes, that you know of. Yeah, that's your waterproof no, no. ring. Yeah. Well, the thing is, I know that she doesn't. Yeah, exactly. Yep, yeah. but, but but I will just have to remember that. Your spells still work, though. Yeah. I said I think. Ring just I, won't. <laughs> the ring just won't. Yeah, I think. I'm just having a look through. I think that's the only. That's that really the only that thing. That's the only thing. That, yeah. And while you're casting it, suspiciously, there's moonlight in the area. Uh, yeah. And whoa. Oh. I mean, that is very, that's very so on a, brand. So a very pretty twilight sort of settles across the room. And then after you're done healing, the, the uh, Ophelia is staring at you like, what the hell did you just do? And I think that is a good pausing point for now. Yeah. yeah. Find out next week on Flights of the Legacy. Hey there, Rickies. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Flights of the Legacy. If you liked what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe as it does help out the channel. To catch up on previous episodes of this series, please check out the playlist over here or to watch the previous episode by clicking over here. And remember that today's adventure may have ended, but your story continues. Until next time.